G'day, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, I've got my mate Tom Roaster. I've dragged him out of bed on what's quite a cool... It's icy, mate. But it's nice here. How, what, look at the backdrop. Beautiful. This is a fantastic looking spot. Uh, Mid-north coast of New South Wales, out of Port Stephens today, actually. And we're going to um, we're going to chase some big green-eyed squid. So they love hanging around these kelp beds and uh, in and around this little rocky foreshore. So uh, some... Oh, no, just, just pick your rod up for a minute. I'm using the orange one. That is my favourite colour ever. I'm going straight for the pink, mate. So I was going to, well, if you start catching on that, I'll change mine over. We called in at the bakery on the way here. Got a big, big, uh, big bag of bread to use for burley. I've got some green prawns as well. We've got another spot over here. We're going to get in amongst the wash and see we can't catch some big hard pulling drummer. So lots to do today. A few boxes to tick. Squid first, drummer second. And we did mark quite a big fish just over here on the sounder, which could have been a kingfish or a mulloway. So the first squid might even be deployed as a live bait. So, so sounds like a plan to me, mate. Lots to do. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, there he is. Got him. Got him on. Oh, good right. squid, mate. Tell you. Right. I am changing to the pink. I knew you'd, you stole my squid jig. I want this one. I better get the net. It's a good one. He's pulling drag, mate. He's pulling drag. So one of the key things you do, we've got the polarised sunnies on, is look down through the water and see if he's got any mates. So is he a loner or is he a second one there? Oh, Tom? I can see his ink at the moment, mate. Oh, he's a, oh it's, a, it's a big green-eyed squid and he's on his own. I better get the he's net. He's on his own. Oh, that's a he's cracker. He's a nice one, though. You get that net. Hang on. I'm not organised. I do suffer from Oh, one. he's got a mate down there. Oh, he's got a mate? Yeah, he has. Righto. Oh, there See is. See him there in yep. front. All right, so I'm going to throw my jig over. And you hold yours there. Holden. Now I've got him. He's away. How good is that? How good is that? Now look at the colours. Bring him. Don't you dare ink me here, no, Tommy. mate, I'm keeping him uh, just there. Oh, they are beautiful looking squid. They would make amazing baits for a big kingfish or a... Mull away, oh, I've got to tell you, oh. otherwise they are sensationally good to eat. And we might even show everyone how to clean one later. Either way, they're either going for bait or I've got to tell you, they're, mate, they're squid Could rings or dinner, a stir fry or something. Cool, that's awesome. Mate, got that net there, <laughs> finally, so the secret is here, we'll go under that one of yours and under that one of mine. Can you point in. them away from me, please, mate? <laughs> you've got... Mate, you've got to get you've got to get smashed with squid ink at uh, some stage, but uh, let's let's not make it right now. So they're in. Oh, look out! Easy, easy. So I'll get your jig out. Let's see if we can pop your jig out. We'll hold that there. I've got the net for you, mate. You got the net. That's a good start. We'll get that jig out. So there's that hot pink one, which which I said if you started catching them, but I'm happy that the orange one's That's paid one off all, as mate. well. It's one all, and that oh, there's that one out. There's that. Right, no, bud. Let's uh, show everyone what these. Oh, I think you've got me. I think oh, I, I know too, which mate. one yours is, but that's all right. So look at that. They're a cool. Get pick yours up there, Tommy. Point it that way. Don't you go squirting ink through. Oh, <laughs> there's a bit of water coming out. Let's get rid of that net. That oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no ink. It's only salt water, luckily. There's no ink in that. You can see why they call a green-eyed squid. So that 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 beautiful green. Uh, green section above their eyes. They're a cool looking thing. All right, I'll pop these fellas in the live bait tank. On your water, get around in there. They can swim around. Pass me yours, Tommy. Not the danger end, fair dinkum. Straight past you. Straight past me, look at that. There they are, oh, hang on. Okay, hey, hey, hey. That's those big candles, you can see that's got me on the finger there. That's how they reach out and grab their prey and then pull them into their mouth. But I'll, I'll just uh, I'll get off there, you, before he squirts me. 
Yeah, they are so sticky, those things. Amazing, there you go. So they're in there and they'll do their thing. There's no point leaving these squid in the tank when you're seeing good show on the sounder. So I'm going to wrestle that big squid out and see if we can't get a bite off him. So it's my rig there, got the big 10 circle hook, and I'm going to just pin that lightly through his hood there. And then I've got the other hook here I'm going to use as a trail, and I just go through the back of the hood just lightly, and that's, that's perfect and that squid will just swim along down there while we're chasing some more squid. So that's gonna be my bait. Marked a few fish, look like they could be kingfish or even mulloway on the bottom, but I reckon that's gonna work as a, an ideal bait there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Righto, Tommy, that squid's been- Got him on there, mate. I've got something on. It's coming this way at a rate of notch, Yeah, I'll get this rod out of your way. You might have to- Do you want to start that mode up or you're right? Mate, it's right up on the surface there. I'm not sure what we got. Yeah, we probably want to get out over the top of it. So that's our live squid. I have no idea what I've got here. But uh, yeah, back that drag off, ready to go. Could be a shark, could be a kingfish. Whatever it is, it's eating a whole squid. And this is a 37 kilo ugly stick. 100 pound leader, 50 pound nylon, and I can see, oh, I think it's a kingfish actually. Oh, oh, he's done you. And he's done me. Oh, I pulled the hooks actually. Oh, wow. So the plan worked. Definitely had the bite. I just caught the color of it. it looked like a really big kingfish, and unfortunately, somehow that circle hook's pulled. Oh, wow. That's disappointing, mate. Uh, we might go back up and do that run again, I think. I think so. Yeah, it's disappointing, all right, but uh, man, that had some go about it, that thing, that's for sure. Oh, got him there, Tommy. Got one there, mate. Uh, I may have, in the commotion of losing that big kingfish there before. Oh, that, that's devastated me, that one. That was a big kingfish. I could, I could see it down in the water column. I may have picked Tom's right up with my favourite colour, which is the hot pink squid jig, and it's worked. I've got him on. So, are you going to net this for me? Or? Oh, I was thinking about it. Or do you want me to just pick him straight up? Oh, no. no let's, let's brave it, if you want to brave it. Here we go, you ready? This is a bit of a bravery one, and there you go. It's done well. But we didn't need to net that one. That's a bit dangerous pointing it at the camera at the moment. But uh, that's grabbed him, and <laughs> our squid jigs work. <laughs> this is going to be... Oh, I knew that was coming, but it's shot it the right way. <laughs> Our squid jigs work is they've got those, those, those uh, super fine stainless barbs, with, um, but they actually don't have a barb on them. They're just prongs, really, and the squid have that sort of soft sort of texture. So the, the big thing is not to pull too hard. If you lock your drag up and rip in, right. you just tear, you'll tear the leg off the squid. Nice or, and light, nice yeah. and easy. And have fun with them. They pull hard, too. They're good fun to catch on. Light tackle like this, we're using super light rods. These are only two to four kilo rods. And um, the other big thing is, They've got fantastic eyesight, as you can see by those big eyes. Um, fluorocarbon is ideal. So a, a litre that's, um, that's made of fluorocarbon, that's only 10 pound. I wouldn't go any heavier than that. Uh, in clear water especially, they'll shy mm. off on those heavier litres. I reckon it makes a difference. For sure. We've got a kit, another bait out at the moment. We might slowly troll it back up above all that bait. That's where the squid are, and that's where the kingies are too, I reckon. Oh. And I've there got him, is. Tommy. There he is, big long cast. Oh, really important, soft hands. Worst thing you can do, we mentioned before, don't have that drag too tight. When they pulse, you've got to let them go, otherwise you'll end up um, tearing those tentacles off. And he's got a, he's got a friend, he has a friend. It's official, there's a mate there. He's coming with him, so I'll just wind it quite slowly. We'll get Tommy to get the cast in and see if we can't hook the other one up. Are you spurting some ink out there? Drop your jig in there, Tommy. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. And has he got it? 
Oh, we're away with the daily there double, mate. There's ink going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, look out, that's awesome. Oh, well, mate, that was pretty cool watching that. Oh, no net, and I'm pointed out. That one's got ink. Oh. Tom, what are you doing? There we go. <laughs> Risky business, that. Uh, they're awesome, these ones. They come in a massive range of colours. I do like the bright ones. Some days uh, the more natural colours work better. And they come in, as I said, range of sizes. Little ones for those sort of more estuary squid, but these bigger squid out here, I think the bigger profile jigs work. And these ones swim really well. They're one thing where I think you spend a few dollars extra on your on your better quality Absolutely. jigs, it makes a difference. Yeah, you see the cheaper ones, they're kind of a bit beat up after one squid, you know what that? No, definitely not. That's awesome. We got some nice squid there this morning. We found a pretty cool spot here to fish for a drummer. It's nice and safe here. You know, the sounder, we're in six metres of water. So, perfect spot. You've got that wash going up over that bit of a ledge and dropping down. Same with that kingfish. I saw it, mate. It was, a big, it was a big one, but we're going to try and get some black drum. You get brim too and groper and the odd sort of bycatch when you're doing this. Sure. It's, um, nice deep water here, pretty safe. Electric motor's down, it's holding us. We're sort of spinning a little bit. The tide's coming this way. The wind's spinning around, but the burley's going to sort of rush up into that zone where the drummer are. Got him. Go, mate. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. And, oh, it looks like the right variety. The burley's working, mate. Up he comes. Up he comes. Looks like a solid one too, Tommy. Come on. They're good fun, aren't they? They just fight so hard. What I like about them is, is the shore-based guys have just as much, if not more, fun as we do in the boat. And that's a solid fish, that one. Nice one. Yes, if we can get him up here. And the tackle we're using on Tommy's on the 8 to 12 kilo. I've got a 6 to 10, a little bit lighter. Here he comes. And uh, we're fishing some 25 pound mono, and that's a solid that's a black drum. Drum. That's a lovely. I like that. Adjective, oh, yeah. lovely. That is, oh, I just got him. Pinned him oh, under the lit. jaw. Hold that up and show everyone what a solid black drummer looks like. They're sort of hard to hang on to, the mighty black drummer. Look there at that. Is. Rock blackfish, black drummer, whatever you want to call them. I think rock blackfish is the correct name for them. But that big, powerful tail, swing that out there, that's where it all comes from. That's what the fight's all about. They grow, I actually got one last year fishing with uh, my mate Jack filming real action, I got, I got one of those trophy four kilo fish, which is just ridiculous. But you've seen them, I think you said diving six kilos? Oh, I don't know, it's something else, something big, like Big, big black shapes, and they hang pretty high, certainly in schools, but they hang pretty high in the water column. And at the moment, did you get that one just off the back of that ledge? Just off the back, we got him nice, nice and close there for a cast, and uh, yeah, took advantage of it. That's the game. Now, was that on the bread or the pearl prawn? It was on, it was on the prawn. On the pearl prawn. So we've got a mixture of bread and pearl prawns with some other burley. We'll keep that burley going. We're in a safe spot here. Swells a little bit up and down. There's a little bit of backwash to deal with, but I've got to tell you, that is a solid fish right there. So I'm just going to take that first section of shell off, throw that away, and then just... Um, Feed that not quite at the tail, right down through that meaty section of the prawn, push that hook through, and then create a half hitch in my line, like that, around the tail, and that'll keep that bait nice and straight, and that half hitch will just pull out when you get the bite. All right, let's see if I can catch one. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> serious. Going well. I'll swap sides with you, mate, go that way. I was sort of halfway through a cast and I kept going. Mate, we did get the double hook up in the end. Look what I ended up with. <laughs> nice little rasp. So I reckon that beats your drummer any day of the week. Not really, but bring it over. I was going to net it, but I reckon we could just lift him up. Take a wrap on the coil line and bring him straight up in, in and have a look. Pinned straight through there. They're actually actually started that big and then they've got that big and they've nice got a little bit. fat though, aren't they? Quality fish. They are. Just right, watch when you're handling them. See that? There's one, two. There's those main two 
spikes down there uh, near the anal fin there. They're savage things and they are quite spiky across the top. Uh, like a lot of fish, got a, got a little bit of a bit of a thing going on there on the back of the gill raker, but those two are the ones that you really need to watch out for. But you can see where that power, we spoke about the tail before, you can see where that power comes from and people often ask me about, you know, different fighting abilities of different fish and I quite often say to, um, say to people like a, a New Guinea black bass, and you've caught those I before, have. I know you have, are like a black drum across with a mangrove jack really, aren't they? That's they what they're are. like. They so, so they're built big, uh, similar colour I guess too but they fight just as hard. And these blokes live under the rocks, they, they eat your bait and they're just trying to get back into their little house there and bury your line, aren't they? That's, <laughs> that's, that's why I let him go, eh? Let's him take off. He'll go straight back down where he came from, Tommy. There he goes. Staying safer on the water has never been easier thanks to the Marine Rescue app and it's free. All you need to do is tell us where you're going and when you'll be back and don't forget to log off. So take a couple of minutes to set up your profile. Be smart, choose the tracking option so Marine Rescue knows where to start searching in an emergency. Logging on with Marine Rescue New South Wales means someone's watching out for you. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. That, that's in the burley at the back of the boat. about the cast, and that's in the burley at the back of the burley boat. That the burley boy is so expertly chucked out there. Hey, well, he's come up a bit quicker, that one. All right, we'll put the net under him. Now, they are a good eating fish, too. Rock blackfish. Oh, black. Oh, that's a bit more solid, that one. So, they've, you've come back in size a bit. How about we use our little dicky chair here? We sit him up there. There's also silver drummer. So, um, which have no eating qualities whatsoever, no. but they grow really big. So they have this iodine sort of smell, very similar looking fish, but really quite light, aren't they, in colour? Sharper in the fins. Sharper in the fins? Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Black drummer, on the other hand, are great eating, very thick fillets through here, but like a lot of these fish that, that uh, feed on weed, all those sorts of things, you do need to bleed them, just get that blood out. So if you're going to keep this fish, certainly bleed it, dispatch it quite quickly, let the blood drain out of it, get it on the ice. Uh, it's not one that I'd keep the skin on, I reckon fillet no, them and skin, skin them. It. Yeah, and they, they are very, very good to eat. Yep, on again. Drummer? Yeah, I think once they get off that rock platform, all they're trying to do is find a rock or a hole to bury you, and that's what they're doing. So, yeah, that's another one. Here it is. Bring him up. Get him up here. We're just, just getting onto a tide change. Tommy can land in. Just getting onto a tide change at the moment. And they're certainly a fish that, like all fish, they all love those tide changes, but the top of the tide seems to be a good one because right on that high tide, they're up on those rock platforms and I think that's a key feeding time. They seem to also go better as it gets later in the day too. Um, later in the afternoon's another key time to go and chase them. Oh, and off he goes. What's that? Man, that thing's got some go about it. What is it? I don't know. Huh? Oh no, it's got me over the rock, I think. It seems oh, to be no. going that way. Hang on, go, go under me. What is this? I don't know, mate. He's got, yeah, red. got a bit of go about him. I've only got that little hook on there, so I'm not too sure what I've got there, Tommy. Oh, it yeah, is. Yeah, nice one. Pretty solid one, too. Here we go. He went forward a bit funny, that one. He did. Here we go. There he is. <laughs> Yes. All right. That's a pretty solid one. So just point that point that tiny little hook out there for me, Tommy, to everybody. So I went down to a smaller size. That's a number two. So just remember, I did mention before, they've got very, very small mouths. That's a pretty solid one, that one. And um, as the water temperature cools off in wintertime, they actually get easier to catch. They, they go really vegetarian in the warmer months. And if you look at the you know, behind us there, the weed growth you get, both that brownie coloured weed and the cabbage and the other green weed that you get, it grows much better in the warmer months, like your grass at home, there's no difference. So when the temperature's warmer, it grows, grows better. And these fellas, cabbage can be an awesome bait using that green cabbage weed for them. But once the water temperature drops down, you'll catch them on bread, pearled prawns, uh, all those sorts of baits work really well. Abalone guts are always a good bait for them too. But um, yeah, squid, drummer, all those sorts of things are really good fun to catch in wintertime. Yep. That's a better one, mate. Oh, I'm not making excuses, but, I'm using that word, but, 
So I'm fishing slightly heavier, 30 pound nylon, which I had two outfits, one's got 30, and the other one's got 20 pound. It just goes to show you, even drummer, the lighter you fish, the more bites you get. That's and right. they're definitely biting more. I think not, certainly the line's a bit lighter, but the sink rate's quicker, so. I think Tommy's unweighted bait's getting down in the dr in the zone a bit quicker than mine, so I actually put some 20 pound fluorocarbon leader on, and I reckon. That's a solid one, mate. That's a pretty good one. Look at that. I reckon. I don't want to say mate, it, but could be fishing in the day. It might be late in the day, but that's when quality comes out to play. Have you ever heard that one? I just made that up, actually. It sounded pretty good, but didn't it, really? Oh, if you say so. Might be. There's a T-shirt in that. <laughs> These fellas, if you have a look through there, they're quite chunky, very, very solid. And that's a, that's a pretty serious one, that one. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alphabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome ocean LED underwater light, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Mate, if there was a best on ground, you'd be taking it today. Thanks, mate. It means a lot it's, coming from it you. It does. He's been pretty handy on the drummer today. You've been watching Real Action. Michael Guest, Tom Rocher. We'll catch you next time. I think you've just got me. I think I've got you. So I thought I might have had biggest fish, but you actually beat me for all fish and, and, and the biggest, biggest one. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. <laughs> Real Action is brought to you by Pertec, with 102 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements.